I probably need something funny to say like at the beginning, right? Of the video. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. So I asked people today on Twitter what they would like to hear me talk about. So I decided to do the one that was um, talk about the books that you have that aren't published. And I thought this would be really fun for two reasons. Um, one, because it's always fun to, to go back and talk about old projects. And two, because I think it will give you an idea of the sheer amount of crap that I produce. Anyone who has to write, are you ready for the total? 18 books. To have five publishable is not a prodigy. And maybe you're going to think that I wrote all of these books, you know, ages, before break, before I got published, and since then it's been bam, 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 good book. No! I started writing seriously in 2005. I had written this book called Crash Burn Etc., which is, is the angstiest thing you could possibly remember. Possibly. It was the angsty. Then, after ninth, in ninth grade, I wrote this book, Colorist Blissful, which was about this um, society where the government was killing off, like, promiscuous and drug-using teenagers. It was not subtle. I sent that to the Delacorte Young Adult Contest. And I sent my first query letter. No, I sent my first query letter with Crash Burn, etc. I queried FSG with it. Because I, I thought agents were for, you know. So then I wrote this book, um, still ninth grade, Craving Private Ryan, which was about these, uh, it's a terrible title, right? And it was about these, uh, these half-brothers who had never met who meet and fall in love. I know, I was 14 and I was already doing this shit. Um... I sent that one, I created a few small presses, and I got some partial requests, which was exciting. Again, I still wasn't doing agents at this point. Then I wrote The Sublime, which was a novella about people stuck on an island that actually uh, was published by a small ebook publisher, and I really thought I was the shit for that. And then also in 2006, I wrote Birthday Cake, which, Birthday Cake, has such a special place in my heart. This book. I have spent more time and more drafts on this book than any other. After that, in 2007, was the book formerly known as Christmas Time. It now has no title. This book is the one I talk about uh, on my blog whenever I'm talking about like the trunked novel. It's Christmas Time. I still love this book. I wrote um, this book, Singleton, about identical twins. It was not good. I wrote Break, the fall of uh, 2007, my junior year. Mm, yeah, you guys know Break. Or if you don't, go go buy my book, man. I gotta eat. It's here. It's an empty plate. It's got no food on it. At this point, I was querying birthday cake, Christmas time, and break. All at the same time. As soon as one person rejected one of them, I just shoot them off a query to the other. It was insane. It was insanity. Finally got an offer on break, which made one agent who'd been talking about making an offer for like six months, but hadn't actually ever done it. <sighs> she finally uh, offered after reading break. I had one more offer on break and then another offer actually on Christmas time. Because I liked Christmas time better, I went with that agent. And of course then she read break and said we should go on submission with that instead. And we did. Um, then I wrote the sequel to Birthday Cake. And then I wrote Invincible Summer. I wrote Invincible Summer like a week before break sold. You guys know Invincible Summer. Go buy the book. Um, so that's my second. But that didn't sell immediately, which is why there's a break. Um, uh, Break came out in 2009 and Invincible Summer came out in 2011 because Invincible Summer didn't sell until I'm so fucked up. Yes. No, I got it. I get all confused with how Invincible Summer works in because I wrote it just before Break and then I wrote it just before Break sold and then sold it just before Break came out. So I get so confused. I sold it just before Break came out, which meant that there wasn't enough time to get it in until 2010 and it took me until then to sell it because um, my editor uh, passed on Christmas time, and then I had weird stuff with my agent, my first agent, so um, it took a while to sell the book. I had to wait till I got my second agent. And then I wrote uh, this book, uh, Beekeeper, which was my first nano. I don't know about this book. I really liked it, but all my betas were like, what the hell are you doing? And none of them liked it at all. But I kind of liked it. Then I wrote this terrible book, The Support Group. Then I wrote um, All Together With Feeling, which I might, maybe someday something will happen with this one, I'm not sure. Um, it's about uh, kids in a choir. It's told from the point of view of a tenor, an alto, a bass, and a soprano. I don't know why I listed them in that order. How awkward. 
So then my second agent suggested that I try writing an adult book, so I did that. I wrote one. Mm -mm. That was while I was at Brown, and then right before I left Brown during exams, I wrote the book then known as The Animals Were Gone, now known as Gone Gone Gone. Still, sometimes the animals were gone in my head. I love that book. I'm really, really, really excited for this to come out, not for another year. I wrote Zombie Tag, which was my first book uh, after signing with Susie, after my second agent left. Um, zombie Tag. Zombie Tag's cute. Go look it up on Goodreads. Um, it's my first middle grade, and it was the first middle grade I ever wrote. Zombie Tag's a fun one. I had a good time working on it, and I really like it. I kind of gave up halfway through, actually, and just sort of forgot about it. And then one of my, my readers was like, I was like, I don't know what to work on. And she was like, whatever happened to that middle grade? And I was like, whatever did happen to that middle grade? So I, I got my ass back in gear, and I finished it. And then I wrote Magic Gay Fish that summer. Summer of 2010. Oh, Magic Gay Fish. I wrote another middle grade. Um, it's called Marco Impossible for now. That's my title. Um, and I'm now working on more, more, more edits for that. There's always more edits. And then I wrote another book for Nano called... I don't remember. I don't remember what it was called. Plague Babies. The internet informs me that the name of that was Plague Babies. Oh, and all of this is not counting the literally dozens of things that I have started and never finished. Generally, between every two books, I will start a project and not finish it. And um, I haven't written anything, finished anything since NaNo. I know. I am working on Magic... No, Sparkly Fairy Prostitute is its fairy name. It's called Suspend, for real. Um, and that is a huge, big, scary project, and it's intimidating and frightening, and I'm kind of dribbling that out, which is not my style at all. So we'll see if that even works. I really, really hope I don't abandon this one. You guys gotta hold me to it, because I really love this, but it's so different from what I usually do, and it's really scary, and I don't really know if I can do it. But don't let me give up.